Hello and welcome to another Conversations with Dr. Westman. Today we're going to be chatting about the keto success path. How are you doing, Eric? Great. How are you, Glenn? Very, very good. Thank you. Eric, you recently launched the uh, Keto Made Simple Masterclass. And um, one of the things that you presented um, in, this in this course was the success path. What exactly is the success path? Well, the success path is the broken down, you know, step by step, like day by day process that people will be going through. So we really want to just show what happens when you do the Keto Made Simple Masterclass and start a keto diet to take away any fears or, or um, all the misconceptions that you might have heard about it. And then, of course, with the idea of leading you to success down the pathway to success, we call it the success path. So um, I understand that there are five stages along this success path. Um, and I'd like to go through each stage. Stage. So stage one is basically, you know, where you are now. Um, kind of you feel hopeless, burnt out, uh, doubtful, frustrated, overwhelmed, confused, and possibly even disappointed. Um, you're tired of ongoing diet roller coaster rides, um, and you're ready to make some serious changes. Um, Eric, why don't you go through some of the characteristics folks might be experiencing at this particular point in stage one? Yeah, so there's so much confusion these days about what keto is and, and even just how to improve your health. Uh, diet is so powerful. And uh, what we want to make sure is that people know that it's not confusing once you get taught in a, in a way that uh, is simple. And it, and it is sustainable if you do it in a simple way that's effective. So, yeah, there are a lot of... Uh, fears people have and, and even reluctance to try something, confusion, feeling overwhelmed. These are the feelings people have when they come to see me. And uh, th that's okay. You know, we can take you from this stage on to the next. You know, can I show you just a, a, a little graph of this? Sure. Is that okay? Let me show you. Um... So basically, so there. Zoom out a bit. Just zoom out a little bit so we can see it properly. You know, it's just a, a path going up with different stages so um, that it's manageable. And now, on the other hand, if, if you've done it a while and you're at a stall and you don't know where to go, this is perfect. Uh, the path will pick you up where you are. The process that we have will teach you the basics, the fundamentals of how to do it. And it corrects a lot of the confusion and, and um, uh, issues that have occurred today. And, and in uh, 2020, I mean, there, there are all sorts of reasons to be confused. I mean, all the different products that are available, the, the keto pills, and people come to me thinking the keto diet is drinking apple cider vinegar and all of no 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 that's not that's not our approach so um, we want to make uh, things simple and effective all at the same time so people that are at stage one might be presenting with some of the following they might be overweight they have either decreased energy or feeling uh, lethargic uh, brain frog uh, chronic pain pre-diabetes type 2 diabetes um, PCOS, elevated blood sugar, um, unstable blood sugars. They might be on medications with side effects. Um, they might have fatty liver, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And basically, um, they might not be happy about the way they look or feel. And that's stage one. Um, stage two is more the learning phase. And um, you're excited to start learning and implementing. You can't wait to dive in. Um, and you're about to learn Dr. Westman's tried and true four-step method called the NEST method. So, Eric, what is the NEST, me the NEST method uh, and how can folks learn to implement this? Yeah, so once you know that you can fix all of these things and you, you're not going to be confused, I've boiled down essentially 20 years of experience in the research and clinical setting with these diets into the NEST 
method. You can think of it as sort of like a, a bird's nest, so to speak, will teach you what to do and then you can fly off on your own. That's, that's what we'll teach you. Uh, so nest stands for, N stands for nutrition. It's important to know the basics of nutrition, the boundaries of what you can eat and not eat and how much and, and also what types of nutrition to have. I mean, a lot of people in keto are, are surprised to find that protein is the most important thing to think about. So you need to know some basics about nutrition. You need to know what not to eat. So that's the E for nest, N-E. And then S, we have a specific way of teaching you how to start. So starting can be simple and easy. It can be complicated and difficult. If you want to buy books of recipes with 20 ingredients in them, great. Or you can start very simply without really cooking much at all. Uh, so the method we use is flexible enough so that we can teach you to start in any of these different ways um, and take away the fear of that. Then, so N-E-S-T, for training your mindset. So in order, when you get started with this, it's all well and good to learn how to do it, but you're gonna come into some common pitfalls or, or bumps in the road. People might tell you you're doing something that's unhealthy, you're, you're uh, doing great, and then at the holidays, your family members come in and, and give you doubts about what you're doing. So we put together the training the mindset components so that you can be prepared for the most common things other people say. And also for you to come to grips with why is this that I've been now doing something that goes against everything I've been taught. You know, you may have that nagging voice in your head that is this really healthy to do? Is this really something that I am okay to do? And yes, I mean, so there's training the mindset. We want you to know that upfront so that you're prepared when you go out and fly. I guess it's, we teach you to fly and then you have to know that there are some things you want to avoid when you're out there flying on your own. So that's the nest method. N for nutrition, E for what to eat, S for the starting simply, and then T for training the mindset. And that brings us on to stage three, which is uh, you're now ready to go. You're feeling motivated, inspired, and confident that you have what it takes to succeed. Uh, what do folks do in this stage, phase stage three? Well, there's some simple things that most people will do just to make it easier. You know, it's better uh, to start with a carb-free environment. So you want to clean out your cupboard, cupboards, your pantry, your fridge of all of the carbs, because, you know, if you're craving them and they're around, you're going to have them. So give yourself a fighting chance by getting rid of the carbs in the household at first. If you like to plan, you, you want to plan out your meals and your grocery list to take. We help you figure that out with some pre-prepared ideas, but also, again, you can cook in many different ways or, or not even cook at all. You can eat at fast food places or restaurants or get your foods online, have it, have it delivered. So this is flexible across all of those different um, platforms. And, you know, the probably the most important thing to know is that when you do this, you have to do it. I mean, you have to do it 24 seven, you have to be all in. It's not something, it's not a pill or a thing you can do once a week or, or, or 23 hours a day. Now you have to do it 24 hours a day. The good news is that when you are all in, the cravings go away. The, oh, that's the next page, this next stage of what you're gonna experience. But so you wanna prepare yourself, learn the method and then get into the implementation phase. So now we have two stages left. We're now on stage four, the metamorphosis stage. And most feel fine and uh, experience some short-lived food cravings. Um, some may even have the, the keto flu. Um, what starts happening at this stage, Eric? Well, now, not everyone feels different. For most people, they it's a seamless transition and, and you just notice your hunger goes away. What's happening behind the scenes, if you will, is that you're changing from eating carbs and burning carbs 
to not eating carbs and you start burning fat and your body wakes up to the fact that there's fat on your body and you start consuming that, burning your own body fat first. So that's why your hunger goes down. So you'll notice in the first day or two, your hunger goes down or might even be gone totally. So it doesn't take much time for the hunger to go away. The inflammation improves so that people tell me they have more energy and less joint pains and just body aches and all that, um, less uh, bloat, because you're starting to get rid of that extra fluid you've been carrying around. This happens in just the first few days. Now, if you're on medicine, of course, you have to do this with someone who understands how the medicines need to be changed. The blood pressure can come down. If you're on medicines for blood pressure, you need to be careful with that. Make sure you're monitoring it at home. Same with diabetes medicines. Um, now, the thing you've heard about that most people don't get, the keto flu, you might experience a little headache or fatigue, but we have some things to do to prevent that or minimize that um, in the class, which involves adding some electrolytes. And I don't want you to use these uh, extra salt and uh, electrolytes if you have a history of high blood pressure or heart failure. Uh, again, the medications may become too strong when you do this. So, um, but the first few days, first week, you're gonna notice the hunger goes away, cravings go away, and uh, your body starts to burn its own fat. So finally, you've reached stage five of the keto success path. And um, this is actually the results phase or stage. Um, you start to see and feel changes within your body. Um, you've gone from confusion to clarity, doubtful to confidence. Um, struggling to in control, stuck to motivated, uh, skeptical to, well, I can actually really do this. Um, what do folks start seeing at this stage, Eric? Yeah, so the first few days when you notice the hunger going away and the energy changing, and uh, it, it's pretty empowering, pretty self-motivating, actually. Uh, most people come to me, they've been on this uh, uh, trajectory of weight going up. They, so this is all going to start turning around and it, it's going to start to snowball. And so you'll notice some fluid loss, water loss, which is weight you have to get rid of at some point. And the body starts burning its own fat so that you're going to be getting the energy and the, the clothes start feeling looser. Um, and so in the first week or two now, you might even have five to 10 pounds of weight loss already. If, if weight loss is what you're um, doing this for. Of course, blood sugars will stabilize so that the cravings and hunger start to, di to di diminish uh, or go down. Um, and yeah, behind the scenes, you are becoming a fat burning machine, which in the big picture, this is a great way to uh, just be healthy and have your body heal from so many different things. Well, Eric, that was very, very insightful. Um, in closing, um, I know that you have worked very, very hard on uh, your new e-learning course, the Keto Made Simple Masterclass, um, which is actually done by yourself. Um, if anybody is would like to learn more or about Dr. Westman's Nest Method, um, you could visit us at adaptyourlifeacademy.com. Um, on the top right-hand corner, you will see a link that says Keto Masterclass. If you click on that, it'll give you all the information about the new Keto Masterclass, Keto Made Simple Masterclass. Um, and uh, I'll also leave a link in the description. Eric, once again, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate everything. Um, before I go, I just want to mention that the um, enrollment is only for a period of five more days, unfortunately. Uh, the reason why we do this is because we create um, a three-week private Facebook support group as well. And we want to give people, um, our students, 100% um, of our attention. Um, and that, I believe, starts, that group starts on Monday the 23rd. So I uh, if I remember correctly, uh, enrollment finishes on Friday the 20th. So if you're interested, go and check out that website. Eric, once again, thank you so, so much. Uh, I appreciate all your time. Well, I'm looking forward to teaching everyone in the, the nest and teaching them how to fly. Thank you so much, Eric. 
If you like this video, you're going to love our Adapt Your Life Academy, so click on the link in the description to find out more.